friction hasn't caused any mass loss now the point to understand here and we'll not be going very deep into it because they don't write much in the book so we will just have a little feel of why shouldn't there be a mass loss when even when friction is acting look we understand the basic reason basic reason for a mass loss that a surface no matter how smooth it looks at molecular level it is not smooth it has teeth like this now suppose this is a surface of a table table and i have kept a book over this and the book that book will also be having teeth at molecular level and there's an interlocking of those teeth at the lowest surface of the book and the upper surface of the table and when we try to push this book when we apply a small amount of force then these interlockings do not break so the book does not move when you apply considerable amount of force then these interlockings these these interlockings break these interlockings breaks and you have a loss of mass these these masses leaves the surface and the surface lose continuously some masses so whenever there's a friction acting when the the tires of the vehicles become thinner by the lapse of time because each time there's a friction there's loss of some mass the machine parts where where the two surfaces rub each other whenever there's a friction acting they become thinner as the time passes because there's a continuous loss of mass every time there is a rubbing between the surface every time kinetic friction is acting there's a loss of mass so whenever there's a friction there's a loss of mass but but in this case we are claiming that this process can be considered as a reversible process that means there is no loss of mass and i can just intuitively make you feel why shouldn't there be loss of mass you know this this surface the surface is not the the, the surface of the the inner surface of the cylinder is not smooth it has spikes like this now when i when i bring this piston down when i this bring this piston downward then what happens is when i bring it with a considerable amount of velocity now this part breaks similarly this part will break this will break and there will be a mass loss but when i bring it very very slowly very very slowly then the elastic property of this comes into picture it does not break rather it bends like this and when the mass when the piston passes by it comes back to the original position so in this case there is no loss of mass the elastic property at the molecular level comes uh, comes up and it just bends down and the, when the piston passes it comes back to the original position again so these spikes these spikes at the molecular level they don't break up that's why there is no mass loss when when the velocity is infinitely similarly less when it the process takes infinite time to complete that's that's all i can make you to and feel and we'll not be going very deep into this but all we have to understand this whenever a process takes infinite time to complete that process can be approximated as a reversible process that means the friction will not cause any mass loss now why we studied this this will become apparently clear to you when we move to the next section we'll be calculating work when we'll be calculating work for the different process we'll be using this we'll be using this kind of process this kind of reversible process in our case because we will not be mathematically equipped at this level to calculate work for a reversible process process in which piston moves really fast all right now let's start solving then uh, let's start calculating work in different kind of process ultimately this is an important thing and from here formally the chapter starts and from here we'll see all kind of mathematics coming in into this chapter so uh, we'll start with calculation of work and before we proceed any further let's re revise and recapitulate the definition of work work is force into displacement in our in our case in this chapter in thermodynamics that formula gets transited into another form and the formula that we will use will be using every time is w is equal to integral p dv and the p here is external pressure because the force applied will be from the external source and the piston will be move uh, will move down when the external force is applied on the piston so the force that we know of is the external force so the pressure that comes into the formula is the external pressure now uh, here i have brought in the negative sign and previously we didn't use this negative sign this negative sign has been brought in for the sign compatibility 
suppose suppose the piston is coming down and remember which, which piston I'm talking about in, 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 in the whole of the chapter we are talking about this system this is our system a cylinder having massless movable piston and inside we have idle gas and this is our system whenever we say about system we have to talk about this now if the piston is coming down then the external force external surrounding is exerting force on the piston that means work is done by the surrounding on the system and if work is done by the surrounding on the system then the energy of the system will increase and according to our sign convention that work has to be taken as positive and the work should come out to be positive mathematically if you look into this formula uh, if, you, if if i use only if i uh, i only use integral pdv then dv here is uh, negative dv remember change in v is always final minus initial change in any quantity is taken as final minus initial so here the volume is decreasing so the final volume is lesser than initial volume so dv is negative if dv is negative and pressure is a scalar quantity since pressure is a scalar quantity and this this dv this dv is a negative quantity this dv is negative so uh, but the work should come out to be positive as our sign convention so we have added an extra negative sign outside the formula so that the integral comes out as a positive number according to our sign convention so so the final final formula for the work made compatible with the sign convention used in chemistry would be work is minus integral pdv this is the formula we'll be using whenever we have to calculate work will come down to the use this formula now let's let's begin with calculating work the first and the simple process will be isochoric process isochoric process may volume will be remaining constant so uh, whenever we have to calculate any work in any kind of process will be starting with this formula w is equal to minus external my my in minus integral p external dv and by definition iso in isochoric process this dv is zero if dv is zero then the whole integral is zero and the work is zero so this is utterly simple case when we don't have to calculate work at all and uh, as you know already these things like in junior classes you learned when when you push the wall wall doesn't move that means you didn't do any work similarly if if you if you are exerting some force and the piston is not coming down due to any reason that means your work is zero whenever there is no displacement then the work is zero and hen, uh, and here we don't have when in in thermodynamics when you don't have change in volume that means there is no displacement so the work is supposed to be zero and mathematically we are getting work zero as well the next process would be isobaric process isobaric process in isobaric process the pressure remains constant so uh, uh, we have to integrate this minus p external dv this is the mother formula will be always starting with this formula so there is not much of a heck since pressure is constant so it will be brought outside the integral and we uh, we, are, we are left only with dv inside the integral so basically we have to integrate dv and the integral of dv will be delta v delta v mean, meaning final volume minus initial volume so the formula is quite simple in case of isobaric process this will be just pressure times final volume minus initial volume that means pressure times change in volume but pressure remaining constant throughout the process so we know that pressure what the pressure is so uh, that, that will be the formula for, for the work in isobaric process the third process would be isothermal process whenever we have to calculate work we'll be starting with the same mother formula of this chapter w is equal to minus p external dv now there's a trouble the trouble is neither dv is zero as was in case of isochoric process nor pressure is constant as in case of isobaric process now we don't have any convenient method so we have to go for integrating this integral and when we have to go for integrating this integral we are in great great trouble because we can't integrate this integral now whatever integration you must have studied up till now you must have done this kind of integration you must have integrated x in terms of dx 
you never did this kind of integral you never integrated y in terms of dx this kind of integral you cannot do you cannot integrate y in terms of x whatever integration you have studied up till now you only studied to integrate a function if you are in, if if your integral is in terms of dx then your function has to be in terms of x if your integral is terms in terms of dy then your function has to be in terms of y you can't integrate in terms of dx when you don't have the function in terms of x you cannot integrate y in terms of dx so you cannot do this integral you cannot do this integral you don't know to do this kind of integral and here we have pressure being integrated in terms of volume you have pdv p integral pdv cannot be done by the mathematics that we know up till now we'll have to wait to go to the first year mathematics when we'll go to college you maybe you'll have a course of thermodynamics once again in your first year on second year curriculum then you might do this kind of integral but now we can't do this kind of integral we cannot integrate pressure in terms of volume it cannot be done so so we are in deep trouble we cannot do this integral we cannot solve we cannot go ahead with for calculating work in term we cannot solve this integral so we cannot calculate work technically so we have to find some alternative method some some we have to make some assumptions we have to make some approximations we have to simplify the situation now the only way to integrate this integral is to bring pressure in terms of volume if this pressure can be changed by an alternative expression where we have only volume then volume can be integrated very easily in terms of dv so what we are searching for we are searching for a substitution of this pressure we are substituting we will substitute this pressure in terms of volume then we can then we shall integrate this integral and uh, the the expression that i know very well is pv is equal to nrt this is the ideal gas law and i have told you in our system we have cylindrical tube having massless movable piston having ideal gas inside and this was the reason why i told you i have ideal gas in my system because i'll be using this pv is equal to nrt and this is an ideal gas law and i can use this pv is equal to nrt only when my gas is idle so in this in this chapter we take only idle gas pv is equal to nrt what i did is i re i replaced p external by nrt by v and from idle gas i get p as nrt by v so replacing p external by nrt by v and if i am so lucky that temperature is constant and which is the case in when i have isothermal process then i'll bring this nrt outside the integral n is the number of mole of gas and we are dealing with a closed system there will be no exchange of mass so the number of mole of the gas inside the system is not going to change it's not an open system so n will remain constant r is a universal gas constant and this is a isothermal process so t is constant so this nrt this whole thing is a constant and this can be brought outside the integral inside the integral you will be left only with dv by v and dv by v will be integrated as ln v if you put the limit v final to v initial it will be ln vf minus vi so in this case uh, uh, we use idle gas law we replace p external by nrt by v into dv and we integrated this so technically the trouble was that i cannot integrate pressure in terms of volume so i i, I replace this expression of pressure in terms of volume the temperature is constant in this case so nrt comes out so inside the integral i only have a expression of volume that is 1 by v and that could be integrated this mathematics we know and i integrated this so the final formula is minus nrt into ln vf by vi